Today we're going to talk about volumes of solids of revolutions, but instead of exploring the disks and washer method, which we covered last time further, we're going to introduce a new method, one which involves uh, calculating volume by summing up the volume of individual, what we're going to call cylindrical shells. So there are a bunch of graphing resources at the beginning of these two sections on the course side. I encourage you to check them out. Uh, but I've opened the page over here in the corner. Um, we're just going to look at this one, which, which compares the two methods briefly as a way to start. So first things first, we'll take a look at this, like half of a parabola. And if you rotate it around that vertical axis, it's going to generate like a cup looking thing. And so last time, we learned to take that and uh, to generate the volume of a solid of revolution like this and approximate it by summing up these disks, the volume of these disks that are generated through rotation. And in this instance, you would generate or you would integrate from one or zero, one, two, three, four on this blue axis would be your limits of integration. And you'd sum up infinitely many thin slices of volume, which were approximated by area of the individual disks. So there's another way we can do this. Um, this time, instead of integrating uh, over the blue axis, we're thinking about integrating over that red axis. And so let's just look at what would happen. Oops, sorry, I meant to have it set like that. So if you take a, a little slice, a little a width of thin area or uh, input on the red axis, and as you rotate this thing around the blue axis, what's going to get generated by this little rectangular region? Well, as you rotate it around, it's going to generate this sort of circular vertical cylinder, or what we call a cylindrical shell. And you could generate the same uh, volume of the entire solid of revolution if you integrated along the red axis starting at zero and going out to whatever point this would be right there. So that's kind of a quick intro of what we're going to cover today and how it uh, is, compares to what we covered last time. <laughs> 